explain about the electro and cyclogram how the technology is adopted to study the uh, brain activity and what are the applications we observed under uh, electro and cyclogram so this topic uh, usually uh, comes under uh, biology for engineer 21 be uh, 45 encyclogram uh, electro encyclogram so the brain the activity that is taken place in the brain uh, is usually detected using an instrument uh, called electro encyclogram uh, electro encyclogram is neurophysiological technique it is a neuro technique used to measure as well as record the electrical activity of the brain. What is going on in the brain that is normally detected on the basis of an electrical signal uh, that instrument called electro -encyclogram. It is a non-invasive technique and does not require the insertion, insertion into the body through breaking the skin or the body's tissue or the skull. See here directly that uh, 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 electrode is uh, placed on the skull, a metal disc, what we considered as an electrode that is attached on the skull. The EEG, this is electro and cyclogram, short it is called as an EEG, measures the electrical impulse. It measures the electrical impulse generated by the neurons, generated by the neurons. That is what we call it as a brain cell in the form of brain waves. It is in the form of uh, waves. These electrical signals can provide valuable information about the brain function and activity, how the brain function takes place and the activity that is taken place in the brain is usually predicted on the basis of electro and cyclogram. The brain cell communicates via electrical impulses. It uh, communicate via electrical impulses and are active all the time. The brain is active all the time, even during the sleep. This activity is shown up as a wave as a wave lines on an EEG recording. Even, even during sleeping time, you can uh, uh, detect the brain activity using EEG recording system. In uh, EEG procedure, a multiple electrodes are placed on the scalp like this. A multiple electrodes here, uh, uh, the electrodes are placed on the um, Skull. That is again, it is in the specific region it is placed. These electrodes are small metal disc or sensor. They detect and pick up the electrical sig signals generated by the brain. So they can able to sense the electrical signal generated by the brain and this electrical activity recorded by EEG displayed as a waveform known as brain waves. Okay, it is displayed in the form of a waveform and what we call it as a brain waves. Different state of brain activity such as uh, uh, wakefulness, relaxation, sleep, specific cognitive process, solving some uh, problems, thinking. Like we, uh, as uh, the brain activity differ, the brain wave, what we observe also a different pattern. The EEG signal have a unique features and corresponds to a different types of brain activity. How we can find here the brain activity can be detected like if it is in the delta waves the, the, uh, in the uh, range of 0.5 to 4 hertz. So we normally uh, consider it is under deep sleep or the brain disorder such as the brain damage if the person is not in a sleep. Uh, and even though it shows in the hertz, in, in the range of 0.5 to 4 hertz, then uh, we may predict that the brain may be damaged one. Or theta waves. Theta waves also associated with the sleep and relaxation as well as even in the meditations. Okay. Hypnotizes like alpha waves. It is in the range of 8 to 13 uh, present uh, during the relaxed state, closed eyes, light meditations in that 
we observe alpha waves and beta waves common during wakefulness active thinking concentration on any subject they also excite even uh, under as uh, anxiety stress we normally observe a beta waves and the gamma wave is associated with the higher cognitive processing attention perceptions and uh, uh, these the type of wave signals we normally observe see under delta so <coughs> uh usually under delta waves uh if the person is under a deep sleep then normally we observe this type of uh, wave pattern we can observe this type of uh, wave pattern a slow wave pattern so if the person is under a drowsy it's usually the speed is of 4 to 8 hertz that is what we call theta waves we can get this type of uh, uh wave pattern okay and if the person if it is in alpha functions uh, then it is a relaxed mood if the person mood is a relaxed one then we observe this type of uh, wave functions if it is under a high thinking uh, within a one second we observe this type of uh, wave pattern so this is about the wave pattern what we observed uh, under a different uh, conditions based on that we can predict the state of the uh, the brain activities like uh, usually this is a pattern how we introduce or pick up placed these electrodes so on, on the skull brain wave test positions okay and uh, the delta waves is it's the 4.5 to 4 hertz uh, theta is 4 to 8 hertz alpha is 8 to 13 hertz beta wave is 13 to uh, 32 hertz and more than that is a gamma waves so under sleep conditions sleep condition delta waves are active deep deeply relaxed theta waves relaxed alpha beta focused on a particular things and the gamma is a excited state so we can observe the digital signals and what is the application of this eeg electroencephalogram diagnosis of epilepsy the diagnosis of epilepsy it is commonly used to access and diagnose various neurological disorders or neurological uh, conditions like epilepsy uh, sleep disorder uh, the some persons having the some sleep disorders uh, brain tumor and some some cognitive disorders can be predicted by this eeg technology then sleep studies uh, what is the pattern of uh, uh, sleeps we can uh, even study by using eeg evaluate sleep pattern and diagnose the sleep disorder it is used to access the brain damage from head injury sometimes head injury happens that times by using this eeg we can check whether the brain is in active or coma or any other uh, conditions eeg can also be used to study brain activity du during cognitive task then uh, anesthesia monitoring so some major uh, surgery times we uh, they give anesthesia so monitoring the depth of anesthesia during surgery to ensure that the patient remains in safe and comfortable state this eeg is used monitoring brain activity during coma so it is also used to confirm brain death in some uh, someone uh, in a persistent coma and the research on uh, brain functions uh, it can also used to explore explore uh, brain patterns in neuroscience research as well as brain computer interference um, eeg can be used to control an external devices such as a prosthetic limb or uh, software uh, i mean computer software etc so that time this eeg technology is a uh, used the simple technology and consists of just a uh, uh, some metal electrodes that is placed on the skull and these electrodes are like a small disk or sensor that can able to pick up the signals generated by the brain and uh, activity is recorded in the form of brain waves uh, thank you this is about uh, eeg electroencephalogram